Welcome to episode three of the Catching Cover series with Warrior Academy. In this third episode, we will break down wide receiver, but also defensive back clips, showcasing the strategies, tools, and techniques necessary for a receiver and, and the defensive back to win their individual one-on-one -on -one reps. Winning the one-on-one -on -one battle each and every play isn't about happenstance or accident. It's strategy. And these receivers and defensive backs showcase that in these clips. Come elevate your game the Warrior way. Um. Yeah, just, just the beginner. Yeah, just this outside leverage, though, with no inside help. C.D. Lamb has a pulse, and he understands if once he does this skip, if the DB just lets him go, then that's what he's going to do. But if he tries to collision him, he's ready. He skips, but then he also turns his shoulders so that way the DB can't just jam him up on his shoulder pad. Once he gets inside, he pushes vertical for a couple steps, and then he plants that foot in the ground, breaking away and getting that separation. Right here, you see, boom. As soon as he sticks that right foot in the ground, once he has he gets by him, is ready for hands, pushes vertical, separates from him for a huge game right there on that post route by C.D. Lamb. Boys around this Dallas Cowboys offense and Brandon Cooks, these last couple games. He Brandon Cooks is able to use a stutter in his release. We saw with Hopkins and we saw Devontae the different way to stutter. Now this is the third way to stutter. He stutters with his feet at the release, getting the DB to stutter his feet and then accelerate away from him. When you can get the DB to stutter his feet and run away from him, that's how you get separation. More, more guys, there's like more guys in the secondary, but to me, you have so much space, you know what they're in defensively. Brandon IU does a great job of selling an over route knowing it's an out. By him always selling his head and shoulders that he's running across the field, the DB has to respect it, which then allows him to get the separation back out towards the sideline for this out route. Look at this route by Waddle. He's going to push it inside and then just snap it off. Really a nice route. Jalen Waddle on this post corner right here gets the DB with a flat angle on that post to open up his hips. Then he pulls right back out of it. A double move. The key is to sell that first move. He does a great job of selling the post and then comes right back out of it for a big. Oh, I mean, I missed a great throw. Look at Crowder coming across the formation. A little stutter right there and then just hits the front pylon. Jamison Crowder has an over route. Okay, but he knows it's man-to-man -man coverage. He can't just run straight across the field to get open. So what does he do? He comes up with a strategy, all right? He knows that he has Bradbury man-to-man -man coverage right here. So he knows on his pathway across, he has to give him something. He hesitates right there, giving him a chance to run away from him. But he also has underneath coverage by 32. But he knows if he can accelerate past 32, there's a space right there for the quarterback to lay that ball. And he does a great job of laying out for the catch this is textbook on how to lay out for a diving pass when you see that ball first secure the ball first look it in and then make sure you turn your body so that way you can secure the ball for the catch parker down the field but he's going to read the quarterback and come off so mac jones believes jalen ramsey's first game back he starts with a pick okay this is just a great recognition right here okay if understanding who has what responsibilities in the defense? All right, Jalen Ramsey sees that he has a post route, but understand that he just has to protect his area, okay, which is quarters coverage, all right, which means he can pass off that post to the safety. He baits Mac Jones into thinking that he has that throw, keeps his hips open, making, making Jones think that if he reads through him that he is going to break on his post route, but he does a great job of passing it off because the safety does his job to where he can now break down field and get that pick. Outside, where your opportunity was, was on a crossing route that was going to show in the middle of the field. This is just too one. This is great coverage by Brown on, pay, on playing the fade ball, okay? He gives him a surprise jam, okay? It's a shadow jam. He doesn't really do anything, but it throws off Amari Cooper's timing, okay? But now he's in great position to play the fade. Because he's chest to chest, and he's keeping his shoulder square. He can look back when Amari looks back, okay? He tries to surprise jam. It's a little shadow, but it doesn't do much. But him keeping his shoulder square and using his hands and trying to stay chest to chest with Cooper allows Brown to be able to stay square enough to see the ball and stay between the man and the ball to make a big-time play in the big point of the game. We're going to hit the bottom of your screen. He just sits on this. He breaks before DK Metcalf and beats him to the point technique at his finest okay martin emerson is right here he's out of his pedal he breaks okay he's breaking downhill and he breaks when he sees the receiver break dk sinks his hips 
He sinks his hips around the same time, breaking out and down, okay? Because he breaks out and down, he's able to undercut. This is beautiful, okay? Slow out of his pedal, open up his hips towards the sideline. When he sees DK stick that foot and sink his hips, he's out of his break downhill. This is exactly what you want to do as a DB. When you open up and you read your cues, you read through your man's hips, and then you're able to come down and attack that ball like Emerson was able to do on this textbook rep. Coverage. Makai Blackman on Christian Watson. You see how he turns around at the end. Makai Blackman does a great job, okay? When the receiver closes the space, he does a great job of widening him, okay? He doesn't just let him go. He slides his feet lateral to widen Watson to then have to go around him while being able to stay chest to chest with Watson to be able to play the back shoulder and play the ball if it's in the air for a high ball over the top, okay? He gets space, and now he widens with him, gets that hand on that shoulder pad to where now he can control him, now play through him and the ball. When his hands are in the air, he's able to swat that ball away to make a big play for the Vikings defense. Thank you for tuning in to episode three of the Catch a Cover series with Warrior Academy. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Please subscribe, like, and comment for more content to elevate your game the Warrior way.